One of the great things about being um, a resident of Sarasota County is that you have so many choices. Uh, there's so many options for you. you. You can go to your neighborhood school and have you know, more traditional education. You know, there's uh, the Montessori school, there's military school. But I really feel that Island Village is something completely different. As a charter school in Sarasota County, we are following the Common Core curriculum and we are mandated to take all of the state tests that all of the other schools take. We do the testing that's required. We make sure our students are prepared. We do not test them all the time. We're actually on a mastery-based program where we look for mastery of a subject and that takes many forms and it can lead you down different paths. But yesterday, when we did this, you got most of them wrong, and today you got two out of three right. So you are doing awesome. It's just practice, practice, practice. It's just the exchanging. Remember, once you get to 100 cents, that is the same as one dollar. So you exchange. OK? Awesome job. My name is Erica Baronis, and I am an educator at Island Village Montessori School in Venice, Florida. In our classroom, each day we start as a whole group in a circle. It's to promote unity and cohesiveness within the learning environment. And then we go into our morning routine. Then we go into skip counting. So it's an introduction to multiplication. In the Montessori learning environment, kids even at first and second grade have access to materials where they can play and manipulate multiplication works. And so it's a great introduction to that that kind of eliminates that fear of like multiplication, I can't do that. In dealing with place value, we're trying to get students, you know, first and second grade, which means they can vary from ages six all the way up to age eight, um, to understand a base 10 system, which is what we use here. Um, and, you know, it's very abstract for them, understanding that if a one is in the ones place, it equals one, but if it moves just one place over to the tens, now it equals tens, but it's still a one. They have a really hard time with that. So being able to use the Montessori materials every single day for every single lesson really, really helps them grab onto that concept. So they were creating their own number. It needed to be three digits because we're up to hundreds now. And then they were laying out the value of each place with the golden beads. Once they had the value laid out in a concrete object, we counted that value and then they represented that using the expanded form and that's when the golden beads come in marvelously i mean they can see the one unit bead laying on the rug underneath the number one and then in the tens place they can see the ten bead still under the same digit but clearly having a higher value and so that's what they were doing i let them create their own numbers i want them to take responsibility for their learning. It's very important to me that they understand that the power they have over their education is in them. I reiterate that every day. When he gets into middle school, he'll be right up there with some of the top scores on their EOCs. But he's gonna come away with so much more. We're gonna take his interests and expand and give him opportunities for his own growth as a person. If he wants to take up the guitar, we're going to make sure he has somebody, who, an expert in the field who knows how to play the guitar. We're going to follow him if he has an interest in science or if he has an interest in art. We're going to make that happen for him here. We really hold the individual student and their interests at the highest level. When you awaken a child to their individual power and capabilities, the age group really doesn't matter. It's once they believe in themselves, it, it transforms the individual. It's amazing, and that's one thing Montessori does so well, is it teaches the whole child. They learn that the social aspect of who they are, along with the intelligent aspect of who they are, um, even their emotions and their home life and family dynamic, that every aspect of that is crucial to who they are, and we teach to all of those elements. We try to make sure that our students are prepared to advocate for themselves. 
that they're organized, that they have a sense of time management, um, and that they can prioritize their work. But basically being an, an advocate for themselves will help them in any situation where they go. We hope that our students stay with us for as long as they can. However, we understand that our high school program is not gonna meet the needs of all of our students. It's very small, we intend to keep it small. It's not for students who are looking for that big, big high school experience, but it has worked for the students that are here. Montessori says, follow the child, and that's exactly what we do here at Island Village.